So we got a, a, a steel striker here and a little piece of flint or any kind of hard rock that will catch a spark on. And basically this one's kind of, it's kind of built so you can put it on your fingers like that so that you don't wrap your knuckles when you're trying to get a spark. But you can see that as I just barely kind of shave the edge of that striker that it will throw a little spark. And so the secret of starting a fire with flint and steel is this little black piece of charred cloth that um, coincidentally is called char cloth. And uh, if I stick that up on top of here, I'm uh, hoping that when I strike the striker against the flint, that a little piece of that spark's going to jump up on there and catch on that char cloth. And I just about did it that first time. This is that some of that must be that heavy duty stuff that doesn't like to catch too good. You're getting a good spark. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but. Yep, you can see a little glow on the edge of okay. that. I'm going to take that and stick this in my pre-prepared bundle of dried inner bark and some of this. It's right. cotton with bark, but I've got some cedar bark surrounding it. And I'm going to start blowing in here and see if we can get it to spark up. And we already got a fire Whoa. right there. Man, you had the wind. The wind helped you on yep. that one. There you go. And you got your fire prepared. You're kindling all ready to go over there. Kind of a little lean-to build. Really, we wish it was that easy every single time. Yeah. Well, so. we'll take the good conditions when we can get them. Oh, man, it's beautiful out here, too. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. All we'll right. See you around. See you down the trail.